Start learning Cobol on mainframes with VS Code. What is a mainframe and how can I get access to practice? Mainframes cost a lot. How does mainframe work? I am not going to answer this question for you. You can learn it from IBM docs and courses. It's all online up there. But I can answer you one thing. Mainframes are still alive. Mainframe in the past, it's very different from what it is today. How do you work on mainframes? The old black green red editor aka ISPF? Ah, it's boring. What do you say? When you when you Google um, COBOL, you get all these images of the ISPF editor and the 3270 emulator. And for me personally, I do not enjoy working on that. Um, I think that it's it's it doesn't come natural. Um, I don't want to control the screen using my function keys. I want to just do it normal so using visual studio code allows you to do that in in a way where i think a lot of young developers are used to is there a web gui or a better emulator for mainframe yeah there is one before that why should i learn COBOL now governor laura kelly of kansas said so many of our department of labor across the country are still on COBOL system you know very very all technology kelly said tuesday our Department of Labor had recognized that there was an issue and had initiated modernization and unfortunately that's something that might take time. This wires interfered and they had to do ceased transition to a much more robust system. So they're operating on really old stuff. Kupol. What's this Kupol? Kupol stands for Common Business Oriented Language. Why is Kupol still dominant? Yeah, it's 60 years old. Kupol is everywhere. You probably used an application written in Kupol today. For example, consider the following statistics. About 95% of ADM swipes use COBOL code. COBOL powers 80% of in-person transactions. Every day, COBOL systems handle $3 trillion in commerce. Let's get back to our question. Is there a web GUI or a better emulator for mainframe? How programming COBOL on mainframes with VS Code? It's modern, familiar, and fun. This is made possible by Sohi. What is Sohi? Sohi is an open source framework that offers modern interfaces to interact with ZOS and allows you to work with ZOS in a way that is similar to what you experience on cloud platforms today. It helps young developers today to interact and work with mainframe using the development tools that they know and love. It's a modern solution for modern mainframe developers. Come on, let's access mainframe with Sohi. First, you need a mainframe access. You can get a free mainframe access from IBM for learning Kapoor right now. I provided the link in video description, fill up the details, and then check your mail, you're done, you get a free mainframe access. Now we need the IDE, not the old one, the black, green, red, ISPF, no, we need the modern guy here, he's VS Code. You can download the software from its official website, it's cross-platform that is available for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. I'm running this tutorial on Linux, okay, I think you guys downloaded the VS Code. Now we need some extensions. The first one is IBM Z and the next one is Sohi File Explorer. Now, go to Sohi tab on VS Code, create a new profile, give it a name, something like Learn Cobol. Now provide your address for Sohi CLI that you got in mail. Give your username, password, false. Now let's load the datasets. Click on the search button right there and give your username dot and asterisk. This is because to load datasets, to load any dataset that just starts with your user ID. That's that white asterisk thing doing there. Let's run the Hello World program. The mainframe we requested for learning COBOL comes with a set of preloaded programs to assist the learning. So let's run the Hello World program in there. Here one thing to note, I store my COBOL programs in a dataset called c12345.co and my JCLs inside a dataset called c12345.jcl. We're doing this because 
if you are trying to store your cobalt programs in a data set called c12345.jcl uh, apparently that's not a problem in ISPF but in VS code it will think that uh, we have to give the syntax highlighting or code formatting for a JCL program here only from this extension of this data set VS code gets to know what syntax highlighting we need to provide so we are using this convention to get the syntax highlighting for the appropriate languages so that's it That's it, we run a Cobalt program on a mainframe with our buddy VS Code. This is a free course for learning Cobalt with VS Code from Open Mainframe Project. I'm providing the links in description, so happy learning. If you guys liked our video, subscribe to Linux Movies.